<laughs> almost, almost in shot. Uh, we had them right out in the open. Uh, but these are green wood hoopoos. I think it would be a little bit fair to uh, ask you to try and ID them. But, ah, there we go. So hopefully you can see that bright red bill. They also have quite a long tail as well. But you'll notice hopefully two or three heads bobbing around in the bush there. Hopefully there's a few ants. And it looks like that bush has uh, got a feast on board. So all of them flew over to that one. Ah, there we go. There's a couple of other birds bobbing around on the on the ground there. So they look like red buffalo weavers. Also got bright red bill, but you can see the tail's not as long and they're the black, whereas the green wood hoopoo, if the sun was up, you'd be able to see it has this metallic green colour. But they were actually displaying a little bit before, um, so they, they're quite noisy birds. There we go. So hopefully you saw the white wing bars just crossing the, um, as the bird just flew across the screen there, with the long tail trailing behind. So the green wood hoopoos are uh, a family orientated bird. And right at the tip of their bill, it's really sensitive. So where we saw them was actually the, the dead tree just in front of that little bush. And they'll actually probe the dead tree for any insects that are buried just beneath the surface. Because that bill, that bill tip's very sensitive. There's a lot of uh, what we call mechanical receptor cells. So they just feel uh, any, any, any um, change uh, from the tapping from the insects and things like that so they can actually just pick up the slightest movement and they can then sense it and obviously bury their long bill hopefully you saw it was actually quite quite a long bill like that so about that sort of length on uh, quite a small bird really 